Nobody wants difficult situations. Nobody wants fusses and fights. Nobody wants uh, hard situations. The apostle Paul did not want a thorn in his flesh. That was not his choice. That was the choice of God who knew what Paul needed so that he wouldn't become puffed up so that he could in humility administer the word. And God did it for Paul and God did it for the people that would hear Paul. Paul didn't want it, amen, but once he realized it was the will of God, he surrendered himself to it, was not angry about it, was not bitter over it, did not get hurt till God, t- towards God, amen. All of a sudden he began to glory in his, he said, now therefore glory in my infirmities for when I am weak then am, am I made strong. Paul began to learn to 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 yield and even brother Branham he had a problem with tension all of his life amen and and there towards the latter part of his ministry he said you know this tension's bothered me all of my life I get the blues I get the feeling like nobody loves me and I know that's not the truth that's just me doing that and he starts to describe the tension that he gets under and the anxiety and, and and the depression that he goes through and he starts to explain this amen and then he says but I got to thinking about this tension it's this tension that drove me to Christ He said, what would I be without tension? He said, it's good for me. Instead of cursing the thing and getting upset about it and getting angry, amen, he began to realize that God was using this for me. This is a blessing of God. It drove me to Christ. It keeps me dependent on Christ. Amen. It it keeps keeps us in a right state of mind many times. And, And I've seen so many times where people go through very difficult situations. Very difficult family situations, difficult marriage situations, uh, difficult work situations, whatever kind of situation, church situations. And you realize after talking to them for a little while, they're hurt, but they're hurt towards God. Because they said God could have prevented it. God could have stopped it. Why could God allow it to happen? Why, why am I going through this? And why is this happening in my life? And they, they, they're hurt over the situation. But the more you talk to them, they realize they're actually hurt at God. Amen? And there's a little bit of hurt they're harboring towards the almighty God because they know God could have stopped it. God could have prevented it. And I don't understand why God allowed it. And I just want to, I want to live the life of Abraham and say, God allowed it for my purpose. There's some benefit in it somewhere. I'm not going to be hurt at God. I'm not going to be offended at God. I won't be a hurt or offended towards my brethren. I'll just recognize that God is working something in my life and I needed another layer of separation. 